Hello, Ms. Lee. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So what you're seeing is, for centuries, you look at when you look at the images on your churches, on your TVs, or in your coloring books, you see images of white people, Caucasians, British, French people. He said Jesus Christ is white. But when you read the Bible, Christ was never white. King Solomon was never white. King David was never white. All the people of the Bible looked like you and me. But what happened? When you had the French come in, you had the Portuguese come in, you had the British come in, you have the Dutch come in, they not only took the resources of your land, they not only took your gold, they not only took your bauxite and your rubies, but they indoctrinated you. They lied to you. They gave you their images. But everybody in the Bible looked like you. Did you know that? So, I said, so, up on books now, Shema. Up on the books now, the old one, you know, I am Rafa, I'm Rafa now. Who be your books, ma? I'm Rafa now, so, oh, yeah, yes, you. I am married. Oh, yes, I say. So, up on Bible, now, now, read the Bible now. I'm a woman now, so you are two before. I don't think I saw the end of the Bible. And I'm saying, Rafa, I'm a fire, come, consume, no. Britain, four by, Portuguese, four by. Other countries, what in now, by America, for, and I'm going to do, I'm going to first image of Jesus Christ, and my answer, I don't know, I'm going to and I'm moving your gold, your team by your box side. And then you're my party in our acquire. But say say no, you're not in the old school. What's your idea? It's what's our offer Bible and our king kind. Now who's assigned your money in our intro? Now we're gonna go further into the Bible, showing that the history of Ghana or the Shanti people is found in the Bible. And you say about the Bible, you mean more who said Ghana for and the Asante for your back was our Bible. Ah, when you mean our Bible, oh yeah, believe it. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Now so I have ever said, so one day I do not go for me. So I have a million seven hundred seventy a million in your eye. And you mean you have a also a million. So the prophet Moses is speaking to the Israelites. Is speaking to the people in Ghana. Is speaking to the Ashanti people. Is speaking to the Yorubas. Is speaking to the Igbos. Is speaking to the people in West Africa. But it shall come to pass. Meaning, in the future, if we didn't keep God's laws, his statutes and commandments. Meaning, God never gave us Christmas, but you celebrate Christmas. Who celebrates Christmas in here? Why they do it now? Why they do it now? But God never gave us Christmas. Why can't you say you do it now? Jesus Christ was not born December 25th. Yahweh has Christ on December 25th. God did not give us Easter. Easter in any Bible in my intro. God did not give us birthdays. Birthdays, I am true. Any Bible. God did not command us to eat bush meat. But, 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 read it again. Read it again. But, it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee. So now the Bible said, God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. What to do and what not to do. If we broke God's laws, he says all these curses shall come upon the Israelites. That's why we're suffering poverty. That's why you have the Europeans came and enslaved our ancestors. Verse 33, the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. 
Read it. The two chapter twenty eight verse thirty three. What says so Abba? Anyone do my dear Nina? One Maya, one new one over here. Now some go and over show. Now let's break it down. Read it again. Thy the fruit of thy land. So the Bible says the fruit of thy land. Ghana or Ghana used to be called what? The Gold Coast. Now where's your gold? Where's your gold? I said, I've got a gold coast. I said, well, you know, who took you your gold? Why not buy your gold? Okay. Now, the Bible is clearly giving a depiction of what would happen if you broke God's laws. Read it one more time. The fruit of thy land. The fruit of thy land. The wealth of thy land. Your gold. Your cocoa. Your bauxite. Your rubies. Your diamonds. God says all the natural resources of your land. Read. Shall a nation shall a nation of oh, gold translate? Yes. Yeah, I say what I say so and your penny na your gold, your team by your box side. I dear be a wasa as so I had the but pebia, your dear or grow my piano, or my four floor and a baby sanya mano. And see all gana or my four floor sooner air fire and your ma idi. Now read that part, shall a nation. Now okay. Shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up what nation? Came into Ghana and ate up your gold. So I said, my man about Ghana, I better fire your gold, a boy. Ah, very good. One nation took your cocoa. Why would I fire your cocoa, a boy? Very good. Verse 48. So the Bible says, the British will come in Ghana and take your gold. Because your streets are supposed to be paved in gold. Everyone in here is supposed to be rich. Ghana is supposed to be the wealthiest country on the earth. But not only did they take your images, they made Jesus Christ white, but they took your gold, they took your land, and they took your people, and they sent them to America. Me and you are brothers and sisters. We're all the same. But I'm not going to be a good thing. 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 But I'm not going to be a good thing. I'm not going to be a good thing. But I'm not going to be a good thing. Verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. And in nakedness, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Read. The twelve chapter twenty-eight verse forty-eight. Now, uba sumu atafua, eladi ba sumana amana aba usuano. Ewo ekomu, eni sukomu, eni adejemu, eni noma njere yemu. Now, when the daddy come, we have to come. I go in shaba sewo. So think about it. Let's read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. Who's God speaking to? Us. Who are we? The Israelites. Who are we? The Israelites. They call you Ghanaian. They call you Shanti, but you're really a what? An Israelite. You're the real Jews. I'm a prayer. Ghana for a prayer. Ashanti. By any Israel for a Bible, they can't watch them. If he said, and some of Moses, I can know. Not only Israelites for an Ekasa. Some of you are soon, I am young, I'm a person. So I tell you, it's the real Jews, no. What did you for Jew for? And that is right for now. And you're young, and you're grown for. Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemy, because we broke God's laws. Think about it. The Roman Catholic Church, the British, the French, they gave us their religion. They gave us their images. And not only because we broke God's laws, he says, I'm going to send the British against you. I, God, am going to send the Dutch against you. I, God, am going to send the Portuguese against you. God sent them. Why? What did we do wrong, brothers and sisters? What did we do wrong? I said, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm seeing a point, I'm going to come around to know. And 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 I'm going to come around to which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst. The Bible says you're going to have to serve your enemies in hunger. Think about it. 
You have your own food, your own goats. But what happens? The Europeans take your food, they ship it back to Europe, and they sell it back to you. You have to serve the British and hunger. And they sell your own rice back to you. They sell your bags of rice back to you. Oh my gosh. And in thirst, and in thirst, do the people of Ghana own awake? Who owns awake? So, the Chinese, you see? God said you have to serve your own enemies in hunger and in thirst. You have to give your own water. From the Chinese. Right. Water is free. Read on. And in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The twelve twenty-eight verse forty-eight. Now we must do what we must do. 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 There's a clothes say made by the Ashanti. Why not? What did you do? What was your sin? You the people of Ghana are the Israelites and you broke God's laws. We broke God's laws. We are the Israelites. And one of all things. In what of all things? Read that. And what of all things? Guess what? You want to learn education. You have to learn the education of the British curriculum. Anything you want. You want a car. Guess you gotta get it from. You gotta ship from get it shipped from China or Britain. And you want to learn about Jesus Christ. You have to learn from who? The British. And want of all things. He shall put a yoke. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now what did you could never to come up with your best hell? And he, who's he? The British, the Portuguese, the Spaniards shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Upon the necks of the Ghanaians. Upon the necks of the people of West Africa. Upon the necks of the Israelites. Until we were destroyed. When the Israelites called to the Bible. Look at this. Bible prophecy. Did this happen to us brothers and sisters? Now, did it 
So yokes of iron upon thy neck. Did that happen to us? So, Yes. yes. Proves what? Who are we? I just said Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? We're the Israelites, according to the Bible. Verse 68 now. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. The Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Now I'm ready to be sent out for a shame of the Muslim. I'm going to be a shame of the Muslim. Now I hope I'm going to be a shame of the Muslim. So the Bible says, and the Lord shall do what? And the Lord shall bring shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Bible says, and the Lord God will bring the Israelites into Egypt again. What does Egypt mean? Slavery again with ships. When did this happen? And the Bible they say, aside the Israel for the Abaqua and Kwasubu Pemu. Nasan Kwasuma Mobakwe. I'm going to not ship him at the Aqua San Kwasumu. Uh, it is a uh, slavery and as a bondage and quafia. And Rabbi, now yes, I come for some money at the con for some. They took me from Ghana, they took me from Sierra Leone, they took me from the coast of West Africa. They put me in ships in El Nino Castle and they took me to America with the same people. Bible prophecy. What well, us in America, us in Jamaica, us in Trinidad. Us all over the earth, the Bible says God will bring us into slavery with ships. And I'm on the fire I say, I'm in a castle, I'm up at this feet. You are Liberia, Salarion, any other part, Ghana, you know, and I'm going to America. Jamaica, no money up on Omudi Yoku ship, I used to say so, and you are there quiet. Then I am in Papa Kua, I am on fire, Fia, Omudi Yakoye. The John twenty eight verses the end. Now I did over Sunday offer a shamu of his room. I will pray and become some self who be Muslim. Now I don't want to talk more about my Tafusa and Kua and Infra. And by the way, we will never see a homeland again. Guess where's a homeland? Jerusalem's a homeland. Jerusalem's a homeland. Jerusalem is the motherland. Jerusalem is where we belong. We're the Israelites, brothers and sisters. Who are you? 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 We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.